Okay, for this project, I'm using a size I, and it's a five and a half millimeter crochet hook. And I'm using Red Heart Super Saver. It's a, it's a worsted four ply acrylic, which you can definitely use any four ply yarn that you have. Okay, for this, um, I started out with a chain of 30. And you can definitely do yours bigger or smaller. But for this spike stitch, it needs to be done in multiples of 6 plus 5. And then you have to add one more for the base chain on the first row. Now what we want to do is we're going to single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. And remember that we never count the one that's on our hook. So we'll just go ahead and single crochet. And now I'm just going to go along and I'm going to put one single crochet in every stitch for the length of the chain. Just one in each stitch. Okay, I'm coming to the end of my chain here and I'm getting ready to do my last single crochet. Now what I want to do is chain one and turn my work. And now I'm going to work one single crochet again all the way across. And this chain one is kind of acting like a stitch. So I'm not going to go directly into this one. I'm going to go right here. Just like that. So that chain one is acting like a single crochet. And now I'm going to work my way across again. Put in one single crochet in every stitch until I get to the other side. Okay, once you get to the end of this row, what we want to do is chain one and turn again. And then we're going to start again in the same stitch, not this one, this one. Working one single crochet and every stitch across. Just like we did in the previous rounds. Coming up to the end of my third row of single crochet. And at the end, at when you come to the end of every row, you want to make sure that you always go through the turn chain and do a single crochet. Otherwise, it's going to make it look crooked and you're not going to have the right stitch count. So just like that. And then you want to chain one and turn and we're going to go across again. And we just want to keep doing this and we need to have a total of five rows of single crochet. So I'm working on my fourth and then I'm going to go ahead and do my fifth after this and then I'll meet back up with you. I'll meet back up with you then. Okay, I'm coming to the end of my fifth row of single crochet, and I'm going to switch colors here. Now, if you prefer to tie off and just start fresh, you can. Otherwise, when you're going into your last single crochet, which is the turn chain, go in and grab your color, like you're going to do a single crochet, but go ahead and pull your new color through both loops on your hook, like that. And then I always kind of flip it over. And I'm going to clip this yarn off. And then I'm going to tie a loose knot in these two. Just so it doesn't slip away while I'm working with it. At the end I'll go back and undo the knot and then hide, in the, hide the tails. But that's just for now so it's not moving around on me. Okay now we're going to start working the spike stitches. What we want to do is chain one and turn. Now we want to go across and we need to work five single crochets. And this is going to count as our first one. So that's two, three, four, and five. So here's what we're going to do. I'll try to explain it to you the best that I can. 
the spike stitch, even though it looks like it's a bunch of stitches, five different spots, they, I'm going, I'm crocheting them all into one, and it's going to go right here in this spot. And this spot right here is where I'm going to put the next single crochet. And sometimes when you're doing the spike stitches, it's so big, it covers the stitch. So what I like to do is, right before I get ready to do this spike stitch, is put a, a stitch marker in this spot so I know I'll be able to find it because if you don't it gets real confusing and it's hard to see and if you miss it your work won't come out right so skip this stitch and go to this one and just pull a little piece of yarn through just that way you know that this is where our next single crochet is going to go so I'm just going to hold it to the side Okay, the spike stitch, what we're going to do is we're going to start. We're going to count two over. One, two. Two rows over and one down. So right here. And what we're going to do is, that's where we're going to put our first stitch. You need to yarn over and go into that spot. Grab your yarn and draw up a tall loop. Now the next one is going to be one down from this spot and then over one so here's where we were go down and then over and we need to yarn over and go in that spot draw up a big loop now we're going to do the tallest point on our spike which is actually in the center of that stitch it's one over from this one and down one so it's right here. See I was right here before, I went one over and down one. So I want to yarn over and go all the way into that stitch and draw a big loop. Now that's the, the, the longest point of our, of our spike stitch. So now we need to start doing the short points again. So now from this one we're going to go over one and now we're going to go up one. So right here. It's actually going to be in the same row as this stitch, see, right there. This one is going to be in the same row. So you yarn over and go through that, draw up a big loop, and then from this one we're going to go over one and up one right here, and it's going to be in the same row as your first one. And you can look and see that they're in the same row. So we need to yarn over and go through that one draw up a loop and it's going to be past your stitch with the stitch marker and that's what it's supposed to be because we started past these stitches over here so you should have a total of 11 loops on your hook and what you want to do is yarn over and go through all of them like that and then I kind of pull it tight now don't chain to lock it what we're going to do now is go ahead and directly single crochet into the stitch that has our stitch marker and you see you'll have to pull these stitches over to find it that's why it's a good idea to use the stitch marker but go into that stitch and single crochet and then you can move the stitch marker and that is the first spike stitch so now we need to single crochet five stitches over and that counts as our first one here's two three four and five now this is where our spike stitch is going to go so I'm going to put a stitch marker in the next one that way I know that's where the single crochet has to go. So I'll just put the stitch marker in and move it to the side and then I'm going to make my spike stitch again. I'm going to count two over, one, two, and then one down. So my first one has to go right there. So I'm going to yarn over and go into that spot 
draw up a big loop. Now my next one is going to go one down and one over. Yarn over, draw up a big loop. Now I'm going to do my longest point of the spike. It's so one down, one over, right down here. Yarn over and draw up a big loop. And now I'm going to start working up the spike, doing the shorter ones again. So I'm going to do one over and up one right here. And you can see it's in the same row as this one. Yarn over. And draw up a big loop. And then the next one is going to be one over and up one. Go ahead and go in it. Draw up a big loop. And you'll have 11 loops on your hook. Go ahead and yarn over and go through all of them. Like that. And pull it tight. And now I have to scoot it over to find my stitch marker stitch. And go ahead and single crochet in that stitch marker stitch. Just like that. And that counts as our first single crochet. And we need to do five more. So that was one, there's two, three, four, and five. Now we need to do the spike again. So I'm going to go ahead and put a stitch marker. I'm going to skip this stitch and put a stitch marker here so I know where my single crochet needs to go. And now I'm going to go ahead and work the spike. I'm going to count two stitches over and one down. I'm going to yarn over and go ahead and go into that stitch and drop a loop. I'm going to go down one and over one. It's going to be my next loop. And now the longest point is down one and over one. should be right in the middle. Now I'm going to start going up. So I'm going to go over one and up one. And then I'm going to go over one and up one again. And I got 11 loops. Go ahead and yarn over and go through all of them. Remember not to chain to lock, just go ahead and directly single crochet into the stitch that has the stitch marker. And that's going to count as our first single crochet. Now we need to do five more. So that's two, three, four, and five. And we're going to skip this one and put a stitch marker in that stitch. And put it over the side and now we want to do our uh, spike stitch again. Two over, one down. Yarn over. Drop a loop. One down, one over. Drop the loop. Now the longest one. One down, one over. Now we're going to start working it back up. So it's going to be one over, one up. And then one over, one up. 11 loops, yarn over and go through all of the loops on your hook, pull it tight, and we'll single crochet in this stitch with the stitch marker. That, and now we're going to finish out with five single crochets. That counts as one, two, three, four, and five. 
and that is what you have so far. Looks really good. Now I'm going to single crochet and turn. Now I'm going to do rows of single crochet again. Work in across, putting one single crochet in every stitch. So I'm just going to work five rows of single crochet just like we did down here. I went ahead and finished my five rows and it's five rows counting this, this row right here, the, counting the row with the spikes, so it's five total. And I went ahead and switched colors again at the end of this of uh, the fifth row. So now I want to chain one and turn and now I'm going to be working these spike stitches again and I'm sorry that the yarn is dark. You want to do five single crochets. That chain is counting as the first one. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, if you want to get your stitch marker, skip that one and put a stitch marker in the next stitch. And now we'll start over two, down one. Down over, drop a loop, down one from there, and over one, drop a loop. Our longest point is down one from there, and over one, drop a big loop. Start working up, over one, up one. And then over one and up one for the last one. And now we want to yarn over and go through all 11 loops. Pull it tight. And then without chaining to lock, we go straight and find the, the stitch with the stitch marker in it, which sometimes it gets lost underneath, and go ahead and single crochet in that. Don't get any of your loops from your, see how I got that loop in there? You don't want to do that. There, just get the, like that. And now we'll do, move the stitch marker and we'll do five single crochet to one, two, three, four, and five. Now we're going to work again. If you want to put the stitch marker in, and the stitch marker is not anything that you have to do. I just think it makes it easier. It does for me anyway. Because that stitch really gets lost up in there. And you definitely don't want to miss it. Now we'll go ahead and do our spike again. Over two, down one. And we go from there, down one, over one. Down one, over one. And then we go over one, up one. And then the last one is over one, up one. Like that. Eleven loops. Yarn over and go through all eleven. Pull it tight. Find your stitch with the stitch marker. Go in it. You can move the stitch marker. And single crochet. Just like that. Now we need to do five single crochet. That's our first one. Two. Three. Four. 
five stitch marker, skip that one into this one. Now we need to do our spike stitch again. Over two down one. And just repeat the pattern. And it gets easier as you do it. Don't be intimidated by it. It's, it's not hard. I know you guys can do it. I think the hardest part is getting in this single crochet. It gets pretty tight in there. There we go. And then I'll work across five again. <laughs> 